Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Jared Kushner's comically large to-do list has mostly proven to be a bust, but Trump's advisor-in-law has been quite successful in one area, strengthening ties between the US and Saudi Arabia. Kushner accomplished this largely through his personal relationship with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who ousted the heir to the throne last summer and later arrested dozens of business leaders and government officials in what was ostensibly a crackdown on corruption. The Intercept reported on Wednesday that MBs, as the Crown Prince is known, bragged about his close relationship to Kushner, claiming he gave him the names of Saudis disloyal to him information Kushner might have gleaned from the president's daily brief. MBs reportedly remarked that Kushner was in his pocket. That claim raises even more questions about Kushner's handling of classified intelligence, but when MBs visited the White House on Tuesday, President Trump seemed pleased with how he's handled the U.S. Saudi relationship. Here's a closer at how de facto Secretary of State Jared Kushner operates. Trump and his advisors, including Kushner, meet with Prince Mohammed on March 14, 2017. Photo, The Washington Post slash The Washington Post slash Getty Images Kushner befriends MBs while they've met previously, the Kushner MBs friendship started one year ago during a long lunch at the White House. A snowstorm bumped German Chancellor Angela Merkel from the White House schedule, giving the president and his advisors more time with the Saudis. The Washington Post reported that the two 30-something princes connected over being tasked with solving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, as their country's chief negotiators on Israeli-Palestinian peace, Kushner, and the Saudi prince were both seeking to prove their worth on the international stage. They consulted with one another frequently in private calls over the following months, according to people with knowledge of their communications. Private Communications Kushner reportedly riled top national security officials by arranging private calls with MBs and other foreign leaders. The Intercept reported that Kushner even used WhatsApp to communicate directly with Prince Mohammed, though his attorneys have advised him to stop. While Peter Mirajanian, a spokesperson for Kushner's attorney Abe Lowell, told The Post that Kushner is in conformity with the Presidential Records Act and other rules, the paper reported that this was still an issue fairly recently. Kushner's unique role was evident a few weeks ago when White House Chief of Staff John F. Kelly asked a question in an intelligence briefing about a sensitive policy matter related to Saudi Arabia in preparation for the Crown Prince's visit. In response, intelligence briefers told him that virtually all of the conversations that U.S. officials had with the Saudis on the matter had been between Kushner and Mohammed, according to several people familiar with the episode. Kushner persuaded Trump to make Saudi Arabia the destination of his first foreign state trip in May 2017, though Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and Defense Secretary Jim Mattis were said to be opposed. According to the Post, Trump told his son-in-law that he would go to Riyadh if he could get the Saudis to purchase U.S. weapons and increase their counterterrorism efforts. Trump considered the trip a great success, and touted the sale of $110 billion of weapons to the Saudis as his signature achievement though the deal was comprised of letters of intent, not actual contracts, and they began under Obama. Trump and Kushner backed blockade of Qatar claiming that they were moved by Trump's call to crack down on terrorism. In June 2017 Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates organized a blockade of Qatar, setting off an ongoing crisis. In reality, the move was sparked by a deep regional rivalry.